As I've stated before, I have friends from all sorts of backgrounds. Some of them are Trump supporters. Some of them are even diehard Trump supporters. That doesn't affect how I feel about our friendship. Some of these people are just awesome people in general. Mork calling awesome come in awesome. But some of them are parroting some of the talking points I see on BitChute and Parler and a number of other right-wing websites and places. And it just confuses me. Like the whole, uh, oh, just you better wait. You wait. Trump will be victorious. You need to prepare for what's coming. And I'll be like, okay, what's coming? Just you wait. You prepare. Yeah, but what's coming? Trump is going to be victorious. Just you wait. You just better prepare. I'm thinking to myself, well, what's he going to do? You know? And I'll try to prod them for more information, and they're like, oh, no, he, he has some things up his sleeve, and I'm thinking to myself, what, are you going to support him pulling a dictator kind of move? And you'll still support him because, you know, Trump at all costs? That's what I'm seeing from a number of people. Trump needs to be victorious at all costs. At all costs. It confuses me as much as you know, people thinking that burning down buildings is going to help their cause, right? You know, it just, just doesn't make any sense. And sometimes when I ask some of these people, you know, well, what if you're wrong? You know, what will you do if you're wrong about this? I'm not wrong, just you wait. You better prepare for what's coming. And then you try to ask them again, okay, what's coming? Just you wait. You better prepare. I never get a straight answer from anyone, you know? And there's videos that say things like this. Yeah, what's coming? You can't walk away from it, just like Abraham Lincoln didn't walk away from it. So everything seems to point to that hashtag. So I research that hashtag and I find a bunch of people talking about having some protests. You know, tantrum protests because you guys didn't win. And uh, you're, you're just going to show them, right? Lots of grandiose messages with nothing other than just saying you're going to throw a protest. Well, did the women's march after Trump got elected? Uh, did the Women's March change anything? No, not as far as that goes. You know, you think having a protest, that it, oh, if it's enough people, that'll just change the results? You know, Trump will cast his glory upon you or something? I, I don't know, man. It's, it's just weird. Do you think Trump will pull some sort of dictator move and he'll be president again and, and you'll... You'll congratulate him for being a dictator? I don't know, man. It's just weird, you know? Maybe not being an actual dictator, however you want to define that, but he certainly could pull some sort of dictator move, and some of you will support him 100%. Oh, you're loyal to Trump. I don't understand that. How can you be loyal to any person that... In a position of power like that, loyalty to a politician? Oh, he's not a real politician. Whatever. You're still holding loyalty to someone like that. It's ridiculous. And you expect everyone else to do the same thing? No. 